Tonight with the first of five Sports Illustrated articles. That's the topic of conversation today in Stillwater. Two News anchor Max Resnick caught up with students on campus and joins us live from Oklahoma State. Well, Karen, we spoke with students who are in their first year, and we spoke with students who have been here for four years and been part of that meteoric rise of this football program. Some call the allegations concerning. Some call them bogus. No matter what, most of them say they're going to support this football team. It's a different kind of walk to class in Stillwater. Tuesday, where the talk around campus is the money article in Sports Illustrated. It's not true. While some are adamant the allegations are the work of fiction, others just hope they are. I know there it happens all over the country. I like to think that it didn't actually happen here and that our student athletes are better than that. Many question whether the article provides any concrete evidence. It seemed like a lot of hearsay, I guess. A lot of people just saying different things. It didn't seem like they had any actual proof of anything, but it's definitely concerning. If the suspected player payouts are proven, at least one student in her first year so she'll look differently at OSU Athletics. I definitely changed my perception of the athletics program. It's difficult to predict how the NCAA might act, but sanctions aren't something these students want to see. If we get sanctions where we can't go to bowl games or whatever like that while I'm still here, I mean, it's going to make it less exciting to be an OSU fan. And Karen, an OSU spokeswoman just pointed me to an article on response.okstate.edu from the president, and it says in part that OSU athletics or OSU is deeply troubled by these claims, and they will investigate the accuracy of the allegations and take all appropriate action. And they obviously do not condone what is alleged in this article. They also say they will make they will be making a full and official statement once this five-part series is published in its entirety. Live in Stillwater, Max Resnick, Two News works for you.